What's up everyone? I am here at a local park again. <clears throat> and my only goal today is to make a follow-up video to a video I made previously back in February about the 3B Hobby uh, 2306, 2500 KV motors. And so I've been flying them for about four months now. And well, I think it's time for somewhat of a long-term review. So that's, that's what we're here to do. Do I have my keys? Before I go ahead and lock them in the trunk. All right, paranoia at its finest. All right, I found a little bench here. I've made a lot of changes to this quadcopter since February. Um, I'm running R9, long range module. Um, I've got uh, a better GoPro mount. I didn't got rid of that. I didn't get rid of it. I still have it, that iFlight uh, TPU mount. Um, this is something my, my brother modeled up and printed for me. Um, let's see, I've got shortened standoffs. I switched out the Runcam Eagle 2 for this Caddx Radle 2.1 micro camera, and that's what allowed me to shorten you know, the deck height, get these smaller, these shorter standoffs. Um, run an all-in-one flight controller. It's the Maytech F405 CTR. Um, but, you know, and I've, I've got these, uh, these motor guards and whatnot. So I've made a lot of changes, got some lights on the bottom. Um, but the one thing that has remained consistent is these 3B Hobby 2306 2500 KV motors and I have absolutely no reason to change them. I've bought 10 of these so far because I've used them on two builds and I have yet to break one. Um, and they have taken an absolute beating here. I'll show you a few of the uh, hard knocks it's taken since February. And so I've beat the ever-loving crud out of them, and they just keep hanging in there. The um, the cheap motors that I compared these to back in February, I mean, in some of these crashes, they would have just, like, I, I popped bells, you know, I, I'd bent shafts, I'd done all kinds of crap to those motors, and uh, these, I mean, I've experienced none of that. I've never been to shaft. Um, I've never... It might be partially due to these motor guards, but I've never bent a bell either. And I haven't actually crashed on concrete with these very hard. So, um, and, and I did decide to run these motor guards because they do hang out past the carbon fiber and I've actually saved quite a bit of fiber um, by running them. And they're, you know, obviously much cheaper. So that I may actually be affecting the longevity of the motors. I might be saving them a bit by running those. So I might be uh, slightly skewed on that opinion, but uh, we're gonna just, negate that <laughs> for uh for now but um yeah i've been really impressed with these and I, you know they do everything i want them to do and i have no reason to change them outside of the fact that a gentleman on my last video commented that they just came out with a 3b hobby that is just came out with the 2408 motor and that would sure be fun to try but outside of that man these do everything i want them to do and i've been super super impressed and Honestly, in all 10 motors that I've bought, the manufacturing consistency seems excellent. And I've ran them for four months now, and I only have two of the four motors showing signs of play in the bearings. So that in itself is also pretty impressive. If I could add one more thing, um, there for a while I was having this issue with this quadcopter where it was doing this really fast uh, like oscillation in the air. It was flying like absolute garbage. It was crazy. and. These motors would come down hot enough to burn you. I mean, I burnt my finger on, on the motors. 
And uh, yeah, they even took that abuse um, like a champ and they're still working. So that's just, uh, I don't know, something else that furthers uh, how impressed I am with these with these things. And you know what, there, there is some competition in this category of motor. I know Emax has an Eco, uh, the Emax Eco motor and uh, it's about the same price. I think it's a dollar cheaper, actually. I can't imagine spending 25 bucks on a motor whenever these things exist. Um, I have OSD now. I have GPS. I didn't add GPS to this quadcopter, and so I would like to, well, I really wanted to show like ground speed and uh, just some performance aspects, you know, since I have that data, but, uh, and I'm running some uh, pretty non-aggressive props. These are uh, Gymfan 5043s. But I think one thing I can do, since it is so windy and, you know, all I can do is ground speed, uh, so speed data won't actually be relevant. I'll get some current data so we can see how much current these pull on, you know, kind of a not aggressive prop. This is a very common uh, freestyle build, in my opinion, you know, the square bodied type of very uh, unaerodynamic and, and heavy. This is uh, with this battery. These are great, by the way. These are Ovonic FPV batteries and they're a little bit heavier than my tattoos but they are like $18 on Amazon and like I said I'm a cheap part connoisseur I like this stuff and these work just as well they are a bit heavier though so with this battery I weighed it at home um, 667 grams all up so with that in mind uh, let's throw on some some OSD and check out how much current these things take and we'll just wrap this up All right, guys, here we are. Um, looks like I got seven satellites linked, so we're gonna be good to go on that, even though none of the GPS data, well, with respect to speed anyway, is gonna be relevant. But I'm recording an on-screen display to, uh, to show y'all uh, some current characteristics of these motors, and gosh, it's very windy. It's very, very windy. I'm sorry for the audio quality. Looks like we're right at about 16.72 volts or so. And yeah, I'm not even gonna worry about GPS coordinates. I'm in Elnora, Indiana. Yeah, um, it's a very, very small town, somewhat close to where I reside and there's no one ever out here. So that's why I'm here. All right, so we got seven satellites linked. Um, all right, and on the top right, we have the current data, but I'll show the, uh, the screen at the end of this run whenever I disarm. Top right is instant current. And then just below that is uh, the, you know, what's been drawn out of the battery. Top left is altitude. And then over there on the left, we also have speed. And then below that, our SSI.
All right, guys, there we have it. Um, we're starting to get a lot of thunder out here. And I drove that dang Mustang, and uh, oh my gosh, it's been thundering and storming all week. We got flooding, it's crazy. I thought we had a decent day. Looks like we don't. I gotta get back, I'm going that way. Storm's coming from this way. The race is gonna be on, but it looks like 135 amps. Wide open throttle is what I got on the, on, on the max there on this uh, F405 CTR board. Yeah, it's getting ominous over there, but um, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all.